Hi, welcome to another video. So you see this board in front of you? It's an FM Click from Microelectronica. Do you think I can get the thing going? I've spent hours and hours over the years having a quick go, trying to get the thing to run without using SPI or I2C. All I get is white noise. I'll demonstrate it. So I'm driving it for my microcontroller. This little chip here, it's a Silicon Labs SI 4703. You can get different variants, 4702, 4703. This is a watch crystal, 32 kilohertz oscillator. So with this little chip, a couple of capacitors, this crystal, a couple of audio amplifiers, you've got yourself a self-contained digital radio. Most of them are capable of receiving RDS information as well, not all of them. So there are 16 registers to write to, and when using I2C, if you're familiar with I2C, this will have an address. My clock calendar chip will have a different address. So yesterday I simply connected the I2C wires up to my clock and started communicating with it, just trying to get the basics. You first get the oscillator to turn on, that's done electronically. and then you simply tune it in. I say simple, that was like 20 hours ago. But then last night I thought, well this board had two pull-up resistors for the I2C. Hopefully you're familiar with the pull-up resistors. So I decided to take the pull-up resistors off. My clock board already has pull-up resistors on, 4K7, so plus those 4K7s. I thought with the two 4K7s, maybe this hasn't got enough internal drive current to pull the line down. So I took off these two 4K7s. Just for a brief few minutes, I got a radio signal. When I altered the code, tried to get a different signal, that was it, I got nothing. And I was about to unsolder this just a short while ago. It's now quarter past six. Been on it most of the day. Had to do another job first, but been on it most of the day. I was about to unsolder it and I didn't know whether to throw this in the bin, shelve it for another day, which is what I've done over the last few years, or buy another one, buy another one off eBay, see if it's any good, see if it's my code error or what. And let me show you what I've found. I've got an external speaker here, I'll turn it on. Hopefully you can hear the white noise. It started working, not because I took the resistors off, because it got warm, I'll show you. So I've got this blowtorch, turn this blowtorch on, works, oh, I've just fogged up the lens, it works off butane gas, it's a butane blowtorch. The crystal's got jitter, it's a 32.76 kilohertz crystal, that has jitter and the heat doesn't seem to affect it. So it's not the crystal. I'll aim it to this area up here. So there's a couple of inductors. There's a tiny inductor right up in this corner by the headphone plug. Just there. A one nanofarad capacitor conducting the radio signal. I'll have to mute that because otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. Here is one side of that oscillator. This is one side, the other side you've just got a nice sine wave. But let me turn the speaker back on. You can see white noise again. So if you watch the frequency here, hopefully you can see it. Well, well you can hear the radio is coming on, but I'm not going to heat it anymore. As I say, I'll get a copyright strike. But you can see, by me heating this radio up, it's not really affecting the crystal. 32, and trust me, I've tried it. When I heat it fully up, I get a nice clear signal. Stereo as well. This is still got this jitter here. So I thought these radios were extremely difficult to get going. However, my code uses SPI. It uses Microelectronica's 
software controlled SPI and just a few registers and you know some guesswork you can get a radio reception and anyway, hopefully you found this video informative and gives you an introduction into RDS radios so thanks for watching